Here are five free AI image generation tools and here is the prompt that will allow you to get the best results from them. At the end of this video, you will be able to create stunning AI images for free. So firstly, I'm going to show you the prompt to get the best results. And thereafter, we are going to test it out on the five free AI image generation tools. Now, since we are only using free tools, I'm going to be using Claude AI for this because I personally feel that the free version of Claude AI is much more powerful compared to the free version of ChatGPT. You could actually use Google Gemini or Microsoft Copilot for this as well, but I have found the best results with Claude AI. Now, before we begin, why would we need AI to help us to create better prompts for AI images? It is important to remember with AI, whether it is for text, whether it is for images, or even if it is for videos, the more detailed our instructions are, the better results we will get in return. So that is why it is key to be detailed with your instructions. Now, I'm not a photographer, so for me to come up with a detailed instruction for a prompt is really difficult. So I use AI to help me to generate better prompts. Let me show you how I do it. So to use Claude, you will need a Claude account. So you can just head over to Claude.ai and sign up for a free account. Then once we are signed up, we are going to give it this prompt. Now you'll notice I'm using Claude 3 Sonnet. Now I do have the pro version of Claude AI. So that gives me access to Claude 3 Opus. But for this example, I'm going to use the Claude 3 Sonnet, which is free for anyone to use. So the prompt that I gave it is, you are a prompt engineer. You specialize in creating stunning prompts for AI image generators. I want you to act as a photographer and give me a prompt for my requirements. But I want you to use my guidelines for generating the prompt. Here are my guidelines. Style, you will automatically choose the style. Subject, you will automatically choose the subject. Background, you will automatically choose the background. Lighting, you will automatically choose the lighting. Camera and lens, you will automatically choose the camera and lens. The user will give you a basic image idea and you will generate an expanded prompt from it. The prompt should be less than 500 characters. Your name will be AI Image Assistant. So in this prompt, I'm clearly stating what I want to get done and then I'm giving it some guidelines. So I have found when I use style, subject, background, lighting, and the camera and lens, that is when I get the best results with AI image generators. But the problem is, I don't know too much about style, about the background, about lighting and the camera and lens, etc. Because as I said earlier, I'm not a photographer. So that is why I just guide the AI, but I tell it what I'm looking for. And then I let the AI give me those answers. And then I'm stating I'm going to give it a basic image idea. And then I wanted to expand on that. And then I'm saying I want it to be less than 500 characters because sometimes if you don't state this, it can give you a very long prompt. And then lastly, I'm stating your name will be AI Image Assistant. So I am asking it to take up a name as well. So let's test it out. And as you can see, Claude AI states AI Image Assistant mode activated. Let me know your basic image idea and I'll generate a detailed prompt following your guidelines automatically selecting the style, subject, background, lighting, and camera lens settings. The prompt will be under 500 characters long. So immediately it understood my instructions. So the first image idea I'm starting off with is slice of chocolate cake. So as you can see, it is pretty simple. There's no detail. I'm just stating what I want. And let's try it out. And then Claude AI states, AI image assistant generating prompt. Here is a prompt for a sumptuous slice of chocolate cake. So as you can see, it gave me a detailed prompt and it gave me the style. Then it has given me the background as well. Then it has given me the lighting as well and the camera and lens. Now let's test this prompt out. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this part, which is the prompt. Then I'm going to go to the first free AI image generation tool, and that is Canva. Now in Canva, I've just chosen a square image size. If you are looking for a landscape image, you will actually choose that style. Then we will scroll on the left hand side menu. We will look for apps. Then once we click on apps, then 
we are looking for magic media. Now here again, I do have the pro version of Canva, but the magic media is part of the free version. So anyone can use this. All you will need to do is just sign up for a free Canva account. Then from here, before I actually start, you can see again, I can choose the aspect ratio. So if I wanted it landscape or portrait, I can choose that, but I'm just gonna leave it as square because I have chosen a square image dimension here. Then I can even go into more detail with style, etc. but I'm just gonna give it the prompt that Claude AI gave us. So I just pasted that in here. Now let's click on generate image. Now, whilst that is generating, let's go to the second free AI image generation tool. And that is Microsoft Designer. Now this is completely free. There's no pro version at all. All you need to do is just go to designer.microsoft.com. And this tool is really powerful because not only can you generate images, you can also do a sticker creator, design creator, generative erase. So you can erase people or objects from an image, remove background, collage creator, frame image, brand kit creator. But for this example, we are just going to stick with the image creator. So I'm gonna click on that. And now it's asking me to describe the image. So all I will do here again, I'll just paste in that prompt and then I'll click on generate. And now whilst this is creating, I'm gonna to go to the third tool and that is Adobe Firefly. Here again, this tool is really powerful and you can use it for free. And here again, Besides just image generation, you can actually see coming soon, it says generative audio and video. Then generative expand is a new feature. Then is text to image, which is the one that we are going to use. And then they have generative fill. Then they have generate a template and generate a vector, generative recolor and text effects. But here again, we are just going to use text to image. So again here, I'm just going to paste in my prompt and then I'm going to click on generate. Now you will notice that there are options here again. I can choose which model I want to use, Firefly 3, which is the latest model, or I can go back to Firefly 2. Then I can choose the aspect ratio, that is the dimensions. And another feature that these guys actually have is, besides choosing the content type, I can actually upload a reference. Now I am planning on making a follow-up video that will go into detail about Adobe Firefly and all its features. And the one that I'm really impressed with is the reference image feature. So keep a lookout for that video in the future. Now you can see this one was really fast. It actually generated the images for us already. Now, can you see how detailed this image looks? Can you even tell that this is an AI image? Let's see the other options. Here again, this looks hyper realistic. And we managed to get this result because of the prompt. Now I want to go and test it with the other two tools as well. And then we can review all of them. So I'm gonna to go to Ideogram. This is the FOT tool. So you go to ideogram.ai and this will give you 25 free images per day. And for most people, that will be more than enough. So here again, I'm just gonna simply paste in my prompt and then I can choose from magic prompt or aspect ratio again, and I can make it public or private and then I can click on generate. And while this is loading, I'm gonna test out the last tool and that is leonardo.ai. This again is a really powerful tool. I am using the free version, but you can upgrade to the paid version to get more features. And as you can see, they have a lot of features, real-time canvas, motion, which is video, canvas editor, etc. But I'm just gonna stick with image generation. Now here again, they give you free credits daily. And they also have an image guidance feature where you can actually upload an image and use that as a reference. But for this, I'm just gonna simply give it a prompt which is the same prompt and I'm gonna click on generate. Now, as you can see, it says this prompt will take up 12 tokens and I'll click on generate. And on the left-hand side, it'll actually show you how many tokens you have remaining. So now while this is creating, let's go and have a look at all our images. So firstly, let's start off with Canva. Now you can see there are four options that it gave us. Let's test the first one. Can you see here again, this looks really realistic. Let me try the second one. And let's go, I'm gonna add all. And one more. Now, can you see how realistic these images are? I actually love chocolate cake and this is actually making me feel for chocolate cake. That is how real these images look. So that is Canva. Let's check out Microsoft Designer. And here again, it gave us four options and they are all realistic. Let's see the second option. 
third option and the fourth option. And then if we want, we can just download it. We can create a design from this or we can even edit this image if we like. Then let's head over to Adobe Firefly. So we already checked out Adobe Firefly. And let's check up Ideogram. And here again, we got four options. But if you will notice something, I asked for a slice of chocolate cake and this actually generated a full chocolate cake. And the second option, it created a slice. But again, can you see how realistic these images are? And then Leonardo. And here are the results in Leonardo. Now, can you see how realistic these images are? Here again, we asked for a slice, but it actually gave us a whole cake without a slice. But still, can you see how realistic these images are on all the five free AI tools that we used? Now, let's try out some other images. So I'm going to go back to Claude. This is basically my agent. And then I'm asking it to create a luxury cabin in a snowy mountain. Again, it's a pretty basic instruction. And let's see what Claude gives us. Now, again, let's go and copy this and test it everywhere. So I'll clear that Then I will paste in the new prompt and I will click on generate. Then I'll do the same thing in Microsoft Designer. Generate, I'll do the same thing in Firefly. Now, one thing to remember with Adobe Firefly, they do not have a history feature. So once you generate something and you move away from this page, you won't be able to find your old designs. So always remember when you have something and you like it, download it immediately. So I'm gonna give it the same prompt and generate. Ideogram, I'm gonna do the same. And then Leonardo. I'm going to do the same. So let's go to Canva first. As you can see, it gave me four results. So I'm going to add a page. Let's test all of them out. Third option. So let's see all of them. So this is the first option that it gave me. I can zoom in. Can you see how stunning this looks? And there's the second option. And the third option and the fourth option. So Canva gave us amazing results. Let's check out Microsoft Designer. Here again, we got amazing results. Let's see Firefly. The first option, the second option, the third option, and the fourth option. And Ideogram. Here are the four options. And here again, pretty amazing. And Leonardo. Now, this is the only problem that you will encounter with Leonardo. Because we are using the free version, our image generations might take longer. And then it asks us to upgrade our plan. It says you are currently on a free plan upgrade for priority generations, additional token credits, and much more. Now, Leonardo was taking forever to load. So I went and created a new account. But when I tried the new account as well, I encountered the same problem. The servers seem to be busy now and I don't want to upgrade. So let's just go on to the next one. So now we tested out two prompts so far. Now there's one more I want to test out with a person in the image. So I'm giving it a simple prompt again, man wearing a blue suit walking down a street. So let's copy this, then go to Canva, clear this, click on generate, then do the same thing in Microsoft Designer again, clear this, Click on Generate. Firefly will do the same. Generate. Ideogram will do the same again. And then Leonardo has finally finished our last prompt. And you can see it's pretty realistic here. So it was worth the wait. I actually feel that the images that were generated by Leonardo were better than the others for this particular prompt. Now let's give it the new prompt here again. Click on generate. Now let's head over to Canva. And as you can see, it gave us four images. So I'm gonna add a page and add this to the page. Do the same with the second one. The third one. Then the fourth one. Now let's have a look at them. 
Now, as you can see here again, we got four great images from that prompt. Now, let's test out Microsoft Designer. But one thing you will notice, there are still some telltale signs that it is AI. Because if you look really closely here, you will see the face looks a bit distorted, right? But that is because I zoomed it right in. But you can still see some telltale signs that it is an AI image. But it still is pretty good. Microsoft Designer. Now, I found with Microsoft Designer, most of the time it will generate images like this, especially when you're doing images of people. So this looks like an AI generated image because it doesn't look realistic. Now let's test out Firefly. Now this looks more realistic. The second option, here's the third option, and here's the fourth option. Now this looks more realistic and less like an AI image. Let's test out Ideogram. Now can you see Ideogram created an image of an older person? So if you want a young person, you'll actually state that I want a young person, or if you want an old person, you will state that. But here again, this one looks pretty realistic. And these are pretty amazing. And we got this because of the quality of our prompt. Now let's test Leonardo again. As you can see, the results from Leonardo are amazing again. And this looks pretty realistic. Now these tools are becoming so powerful, it is becoming difficult to differentiate from a real image and an AI generated image. Now we managed to get these results because of our prompt. Now, the only problem with Claude AI is now every time we will have to come back to this thread and then use this, or we'll have to reprompt it every time we want to use it. If we have the plus version of ChatGPT, we can actually create a custom GPT like I did here. I gave it the exact same prompt, and then every time we will just ask it for a slice of chocolate cake and it will generate it for us because it has been pre trained. And then if you want another option, you can go to the OpenAI Playground and create an assistant there. And here again, I gave it the exact same instructions and I gave it the same name, etc. And then I can just say slice of chocolate cake. Now, the only advantage here is I don't have to prompt it every single time. It is already trained on how to behave. But another thing I want to mention is when I actually tested out the quality from ChatGPT, the custom GPT, and even from the playground, when I tested them in these tools, the results that I got from Claude, even though this is not the most powerful model, were better than the results that ChatGPT or the OpenAI playground gave me. So I would actually still stick to Claude to get the best results. So as you can see, now anyone can create stunning images for free. I hope you found this video useful. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And if you are interested in AI, then this video may be useful to you.